we have a slang that's called the shaka. Everybody seen a shaka before? Your thumbs and your finger. Shaka means hang loose and have fun. Let me see your shaka. All right, mahalo. Basically, it's a safe space for grad students, underrepresented minorities, students with disabilities to not only find out what it is to succeed in this life by connecting with senior leaders in the field, but also start their own network. It's a great program and a, a wonderful place to have uh, conversations around the future of research and technology, as well as understanding some of the challenges that attendees might face in their academic and industry careers. In a lot of our conferences, we're not and I think as academics, it's, sometimes we're discouraged from showing any kind of vulnerability or any kind of weakness. And so the ability here to say like, oh yeah, this stuff is hard and it's hard for everybody, I think is really helpful. Walking in by yourself, you're the only one from your university maybe, you're the only one from your lab or something. And seeing these people that I've met here from all different spaces, even especially the ones in my research group from just last year to this year, and then coming here, like a big reunion. Yeah. And, Grad Corridor has already enhanced my career by introducing me to other individuals who look like me and who have different ideas. I would say a little bit not confused but concerned about what to do after I graduate. Coming here helped me out to answer some of those questions. I know more what I want to do now. Talking to the employers, it's also very nice because they are more relaxed and uh, you don't have the burden of like going through an actual interview or anything and you can openly talk with them. I talked to somebody from Google for more than two minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah. That is a huge deal yeah. and very a rare, not a, well, very, it is a rare opportunity. How do we provide the support for them to stay the course? Because it's very easy to fall out and feel like you don't belong here. Um, and so programs like URMD are critical in making sure and providing the kind of support that these students need. I learned a lot about what I need to do to be able to make myself more marketable to the industry or various jobs that I am interested in. Um, I also learned about what I need to do for um, academia, for teaching, uh, teaching position or industry position, how I can best prepare myself for fitting that position when I graduate. I'm so glad I was able to present and I was able to interact with some people who gave me some really good feedback and I got their business cards and gave them mine so we might collaborate and move forward. So that was, that was really helpful and so that was the tidbit for me. Everyone that I've talked to has been so friendly. They're all here to support each other. I look back and I say I wish I knew about these conferences earlier and the resources that were available, but you know, better late than never, I'm happy, I'm happy I'm here. Definitely, and if you're not sure, I think just go for it, just do it. If a person comes here, they'll find new opportunities, they'll get to meet new people, and if they don't come, they won't get to do that. So if they come, what's the loss? They will definitely be able to try new things and meet new people and take advantage of a great opportunity. Make sure you go to the workshops, because they actually help, because uh, they help give you clarity on it, because I've never met people that were in research that was in the industry. So I was like, okay, this is the breadth of knowledge that I needed to know. It is a great experience, whether you're on your first year or you're on your last year. You're on your first year, you can find great mentors and also talk about your experiences with other people. And if you're in your later years in your program, you can also find great mentors in, in your peers and also in the people organizing the conference or the speakers or people coming from companies. And you can also mentee younger students and uh, impart the knowledge that you have gained. The overall experience has been great. I got to meet a lot of great people. I got to network. I also got to come to Hawaii and experience my first luau. You build your network here, and not just from a upward, but from a side to side. So that is incredibly important. We oftentimes, you know, see, read comments like they were thinking about dropping out of a PhD program and then they came to the workshop and, and that was the deciding factor to stay.
come. Yes. yes. Are you crazy? Literally. Crazy. What is just come? It doesn't apply. Come on. What are you doing? Why wouldn't you do it? Hurry up. Hurry up. Today. Right now. 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 Right